got these glass forms, and uh, I'm sandblasting the glass forms, and uh, it's an abrasive material, so I've got to refurbish the sandblaster. So I've got these forms in here, and I'm going to come back and sandblast the insides of these. I'm uh, putting together a prototype for a uh, light fixture. I'm going to call them uh, luminaires. And um, so you've got to kind of start somewhere, you know, sort of a preliminary uh, thing. We're convinced that the direction for growth in our industry will be architectural art glass, and it's particularly Pro River Glass Studio. What makes us so unique is that we have such a highly trained an experienced staff of glass artists and designers and technicians. This is a glass kiln. Basically what a kiln is, if you look up at the top, you can see uh, heating elements. So the heating elements, it's like a big broiler oven. And uh, the, the kilns are operated by a computer. Each one of the kilns has a computer in it that controls the temperature ranges and stuff like that. So that's kind of uh, part of what we do down here is, uh, is for a local church in Jackson, and it's going to be um, it's kiln formed glass, and it's a baptism theme, and it's all going to be done out of uh, clear glass with some color tints. Pro River is known for being able to take anybody's idea and then converting it into a successful uh, project that's has a lot of value to it. You know, Pro River builds things to last and they're well made, they're well designed. What we've actually executed down here on the glass, this is a uh, ceramic felt that we're going to take out and expose the glass. Then we'll wash it and clean it and polish it. When I come back to the next firing, I'm going to accentuate those uh, orange and uh, blue colors. And this is going to be kind of like a sunset piece, I think, when it's all said and done. This is a uh, church commission that we're doing uh, for a church over in Meridian. It's North Park Church in Meridian. And this is the palette of colors that we've got for this mosaic work up here at the top. At the Mississippi Capitol, these are a number of skylights that came out of the Mississippi Capitol on the uh, top floor. I guess that's the fourth floor. And they have skylights because on the top of the Capitol are a number of clear glass skylights that let light into this attic space. Beautiful pattern, and um, now we're getting to rest restore these uh, old windows. When we go and take the windows out of the state Capitol, then we bring them here, and uh, you know that scene in The Wizard of Oz where they all show up and they get all buffed and shined up to see the wizard? That's kind of what we do here. <laughs> And Milton is the wizard, Milton's man behind the, the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we're doing is we're taking them apart, and then we, we do it underwater in case there's any lead dust that's generated. This, this eliminates any lead dust generated uh, when you start taking them apart. These are called yard birds, and she's picking out uh, a clear mosaic to put on top of the uh, yard bird colors. This is a, uh, a prototype. We're doing stained glass windows for St. Columns Episcopal Church in Ridgeland, Mississippi. And I wanted to, uh, this is where I go to church. So I'm being real uh, interested in exactly how the windows are going to uh, work out. So we're, we're experimenting here with combining some of the kiln formed glass. Remember, we were downstairs and we were working with that kiln formed glass. So what we're doing is we're taking the kiln formed glass which kind of gives us this really interesting model effect. And I'm hoping that's what's going to happen is that the sunlight comes through, it's going to create some interesting light. It's going to modulate the light in a very interesting way. And then we have uh, a little bit of this, this is going to be glass, a little bit of glass painting on there because the windows are going to be seen sort of in this, sort of, it's going to, the way they're set, it's going to be sort of a light box.